Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining us in Grand Theft Auto V as we try to solve the Chiliad mystery. We have a very special episode for you guys today. For the first time here at the channel, we're going to stop at this facility, which is highly protected. I'm not too sure what's up with it. You can find it on the way to the Humane Labs. So let's go ahead and check this place out. We actually have to bring in an expert opinion. For the first time here at Trippy Commentaries, we're going to be joined by Music Vidiot. What's up? How you guys doing today, Trippy? Thank you so much for having me. It's an honor and a pleasure. You're one of my favorite YouTubers. And it's just a joy to get together and collab with you, man. So thank you very much for having me on your channel today, man. Yeah, we of course really appreciate it as well. When it comes to the Chiliad mystery, I feel like there's not a whole lot of people that are, are super into it that are producing videos. So that way we have actual evidence and things that we can go back and look at. Of course, you're putting out great content on your channel, guys. If you haven't subscribed to Music Video, aka Danny Coldblood, make sure to uh, subscribe to him. I'll put a link in the description. So definitely show some love and support his way. But the one thing I really wanted to talk to you about to start this off is uh, we have this place right here. You showed it off not too long ago. It's kind of weird. A second ago, there was a lot of uh, agents outside of it. They seem to have disappeared. Let's walk up to this place, but it's on the way to the Humane Labs. You have uh, some high security guys standing out front, and the only thing that I see is relevant is the satellites. Uh, once again, it's too bad that the security guys disappeared, but maybe it is a good thing. Uh, wh what are your thoughts about this place to kind of start it off? Well, um, when I first came across it, I believe it was during the daytime. Maybe it is like um, other things in this game, and it's um, it's bound by time. Maybe at a certain time they leave, they disappear. Um, that's just an idea, an opinion. But just watching this right here, that's what I'm thinking. I don't really know what the whole deal is. I mean, there's different conspiracies in the game. You have Ron that talks about the government and spying on people, and we don't really know what what they are, who they're uh, associated with. I, it is on the way to the Humane Labs, so it could definitely be something to do with that. Um, when I was doing the Humane Labs mission, I noticed that before you end the mission in the warehouse, right before you exit the Humane Labs, there were some crates that had like the army and stuff mm -hmm. um, printed on the boxes. So maybe uh, the Humane Labs has more security that we, uh, that we don't know about, and maybe this building has something or the satellites are, are here for a reason unknown that's a good you know, call you know because it kind of reminds me of like groom lake and area 51 how if you're going to go to area 51 you have to drive down this long road and to start off that road there's there's like a security hut so if you're going to go down they're going to see you before you even turn down the street maybe this is the same kind of thing here at the humane labs maybe this is a place that's looking out so if anybody's actually going to head over to the facility down the road they're going to know right away uh, once again uh, we're not sure exactly you know if there's anything going on at the humane labs that we don't know about you have the biological weapon that you know we did during the the single player perhaps there's even more what do you think do you think it might be a likely location for the jetpack to be found or at least to be built you know what it, it could be because that that room that building there is is completely locked you can't get into it there are cameras on the actual building mm -hmm. so i mean if we do something in the right sequence or whatever have the right type of game file completion whatever maybe we can get in there um and maybe there is a jet you know you never know you never know if the jetpack is in there or if this is just one more clue and one more step to get there and i'd like to say i apologize for those dings um <laughs> My phone is uh, going off here, so I apologize for that extra noise. Yeah, I know you're using your phone as a mic right now. That's always the pain in the ass thing about it. Like, phones nowadays have great mics, so it works just as good as a lot of other mics. But if someone's texting you or tweeting you or whatever, that's certainly going to be annoying. Um, now, I did check out the cameras. The one thing we can say is they're not Group 6 cameras. We found Group 6 in some of the more suspicious locations. That's not the case here. But uh, one last thing we'll look at here. Are the satellites, I know it's something you zoomed in on, and of course we know satellites have been found in, in most of the key locations, Fort Zancudo, we're not too far away from the satellite array. There's even a satellite on top of Mount Chiliad. 
So this is probably a location that we're going to have to look at the satellites, see exactly where they're pointing at because, you know, they are pointing in one solid direction. And maybe that is a clue. Maybe that's, that's like the start of a trail we have to take. I feel like this place, and I do want to get the security guys to show up. I'm going to drive away and come back. But I feel like there's got to be a reason behind it. Why is this crappy looking shack so well protected? And I don't think we have any answers here in this video. That's for sure. Exactly, and you know what, a lot of the clues in the game um, are there by like omission, like there'll be like a pattern and something will be missing and that'll be the clue, mm -hmm. you know, and and just by having that building in the middle of nowhere guarded, that speaks wondrous to me. I mean, there's got to be a reason. I mean, it is on the way to the Humane Labs, mm -hmm. but it is not the actual Humane Labs. It is its own separate entity, if you will. Yeah. So what it is, what is there exactly that they are guarding? It's got to be something, man. Something's got to be there. Um, I just don't know what. And if this don't work, I would try coming back um, during the daytime because I, I do know for a fact they do stand there during daylight hours. Yeah, I just drove out, you know, flew out in the direction that those satellites were pointing. I'm not really seeing anything too noticeable. It's kind of in the area of the satellite array, but not too precise at all. Let's see if these guards are here, because I've seen them at night. I mean, we just saw them not too long ago as we started the video, and yeah, you're right, they are gone. So I guess, uh, I guess they're they're gone for the day. That's a little bit odd. You think that they'd be the they'd be watching it 24/7, but uh, they did disappear. We'll we'll see if we can maybe show those guys off here uh, in part of this episode. Let's head down to the humane labs. So, uh, Danny. One of the things that you were talking about as well that, of course, intrigues all of us is the spider webs. We've been trying to hunt for them. I've done like six or seven live streams looking at different locations to hopefully find it live. Still uh, haven't haven't found one, of course. Haven't had any success whatsoever. Uh, what's your current thoughts about that? I know you actually have a feature on your PlayStation 4 where you can invert the colors, and it looks kind of strange. Yeah, definitely. Um... Well, the one thing about the inverting colors is uh, when I made that video, my, my buddy Judos told me, he's like, you know what, I'm checking out the webs right now, and they really shine, they really are vibrant, and they, they stand out with a sore thumb. So I decided to go and invert my uh, PlayStation and check out the webs, mm -hmm. and they really do. If you have a way to invert your, uh, your game, guys, go ahead and try that out if you're web hunting, because those webs do stand out very bright. And it would be, uh, I think, a lot easier for your whole web hunting endeavor if you had um, that inversion going on because they are easy to miss. And I would hate for one of us hunters to cross off an area and have other people say, okay, well, no, music video or trip, we already, or, already covered that area, so can't be there. And have someone cross off an area when there's a web that we just missed because it was too dark. So, yeah, inverting uh, your colors definitely does help out especially when you're trying to find the webs there's a lot of little nooks and crannies here at the humane lab so this is probably a damn good location for a spider web to be hidden maybe we can check that out we're about uh almost 40 seconds here in game time before the uh, spider webs spawn do you think that they're all going to spawn at one because now i'm wondering you know what if one doesn't spawn at one what if it spawns at a different time altogether that's going to make it so freaking hard to find this freaking you know spider web. i thought of that too and that would throw us all completely off um and rockstar Terrible. would probably do something like that they are very clever in the way they work and um i could definitely see that happening and it would just take somebody out there to find that one web at that other random time uh, before it would uh, set off a whole chain reaction of people looking at that time. But um, as far as I know, it's, uh, it's only at 1 a.m. And like you mentioned in your one video, both of them so far were found in the uh, province of Mount Chiliad when, when you're on the map, when you're on the game, and you press down on the D-pad, it shows where you are in the game. Both webs, you said, were found in the Mount Chiliad vicinity, so I'm wondering if they're just tying them all to that location, or if there was a third web at 1 a.m., if it would be able to be found somewhere else in Los Santos. I'm still kind of stuck on that. I still highly expect to find a third web. I really hope there's not just two hidden webs for the sake of being a hidden web. We're hoping that it has something to do with the Chiliad mystery. Obviously, we're not sure at all if that's the case. It is almost 1 o'clock. 
here at the Humane Lab. So uh, while we do our discussion here, let's let's do a little exploratory session. We do have some cops on us, which isn't going to make it easy. But this is why we're Trevor. We can turn on our invincibility. And can you imagine if we found the web live during our uh, discussion? That would be just about as epic as it gets. Hopefully there is one in Humane Labs. That would that would disprove the theory that they're all in the Mount Chiliad area. But at this point, we don't even care. We just want to find another web. And uh, hopefully exactly. it is a clue. And you know what? I, I feel like it's safe to say, of course, it's my opinion. But I think we're safe to say that uh, there is probably a third web. Most things do come in three. Mm. I don't think they would just make two. I think they would probably have a third one out there. Um, I would just say, you know, the best bet is for us to keep hunting. Um, there's no harm in it. And I think that we could probably definitely find it if we're stubborn, stubborn and determined enough to do so. I really do. Yeah, so uh, what other things are on your mind? Uh, we'll have some more discussion videos coming up. There's certainly a lot to talk about. But uh, the current status of the Chiliad mystery, and really any mystery that's still uh, unlocked or you know still hasn't been discovered here in the game, uh, what are you thinking about? Okay, basically what I'm thinking is, I just uploaded a video today, actually, and it's about tsunamis and natural disasters. I brought this up before. It seems significant enough because there are so many clues and newspapers and just stuff all over the game that hints at it, from the snacks all the way to stuff written on walls. I mean, tsunamis are something that interested me. I got in contact with one of my buddies, and he digs into the uh, game files. There were actually game files that were found, um, tsunami under, underscore ENV and avalanche underscore ENV, and... Um, you know, I don't want to get into it. It's a long, a big discussion. It was like a 10 minute video. But basically, there are confirmed codes that talk about tsunamis. And I think that this mystery might hold more than just um, a jetpack. There might be something bigger for us and more fun. I mean, that would be amazing, a natural disaster of some sort. That would be great. So I'm thinking along that line that maybe we have something more devastating. Um, at hand that can be found also it's just an idea an opinion but um i'll let you know trippy yeah that's where i'm at right now besides all the other stuff damn that's insane so okay so let me get this right because we don't think that the jetpack is definitely the end game you know who knows what it could be hell it could be a flying car that's something i want gta san andreas had an epic flying car sheet we don't have that in uh, gta 5 yet so you think that maybe a, a potential payoff to the mystery or a mystery is is a tsunami? Yeah, I really do. I mean, think about it. It says come back when your game is complete. So what if what if that doesn't mean just one hundred percent? What if that means once you complete everything? Because once you get one hundred percent, you can look on your social club, and there might still be loads of stuff mm -hmm. that's still not checked off for you to complete, like going through the car wash. I mean, just basic stuff like that. Yeah. What if you've done everything? What if everything is done? What better way to thank you and to uh, amuse somebody than destroying everything with a natural disaster? Um, one of the videos, I mean, not videos, one of the times I was playing the game on the radio channel, it, a guy was talking about moving to Mount Chiliad to the top of the mountain because when a tsunami hits, Mount Chiliad will be a shorefront, basically, and he'll be safe. And that's just another thing that popped in my head, you know, uh, when, when considering this tsunami theory. So, yeah, I think it's definitely plausible. Like I said, there's codes, and they've been verified. And um, mm -hmm. when, I, uh, when I find out more, I'll definitely let you know more, and I'll definitely let everyone else. Yeah, I'm in them. Uh, having a little bit of uh, audio uh, troubles here with music video. Just uh, bear with us, guys. We'll make sure to fix that in an upcoming video. So you mentioned the tsunamis. There's also the avalanche code as well. The thing about the avalanche is you think that unless they put some more snow here in San Andreas, the only place that would work is back in North Yankton. And that's certainly a possibility if they give us a reason to go back there. I mean, there is that bank. Maybe another heist mission will come eventually. Maybe even be a single-player DLC. So uh, that'd be awesome, especially if it is part of the uh, Chiliad mystery. Um, last question I had for you here, music video. We are currently working on a playthrough 
where we're going to do a bad karma run. Uh, the first playthrough I did, in fact, the 100% save file that we're playing on right now is actually a good karma run. Uh, I didn't kill any of the optional uh, guys that they want you to kill. So uh, what do you think? Do you have any thoughts about the uh, good karma, bad car uh, karma theories? Why did they even give us the option to kill off some of these guys? It doesn't seem to have anything to do with the game at all. You know what? I've thought long and hard about this. I've been asked uh, questions like this before. It's actually a very good question. And it's actually a question that's very important because you can spend hours working at 100% and, you know, find out that you picked the wrong choice if, if anything were to um, be found or solved. Exactly. So I'm thinking this. I'm thinking that maybe it will affect something. Maybe... Um, I just, I just don't see how Rockstar would allow us to work so hard and, and so long and come out with, uh, oh, you killed that guy, but everything else is good, so now uh, you don't get to do it, you have to start all over. I don't see yeah. them doing that, you know? I, they could, it's possible that they want you to work hard for what, what we're going to get, whatever it is, a jetpack, a tsunami, whatever, um, but I think... That maybe um, the way I well, the way I do it, I'll tell you how I do it is I make every decision with the characters as I were those characters. You know what I mean? Like if I'm Michael, I'll I'll do stuff a certain way. If I'm Trevor, I'll do stuff uh, a certain way also. You know, I kind of play the game um, with the characters as I see them making the choices themselves. I don't really know. I mean, it is something to wonder about. You know, you never know. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, you know, this is a 100% playthrough, but there's still those missions that you have to 100%, so we're working on that as well as, uh, like I said, starting up a whole nother Karma playthrough altogether where we do the complete opposite. It's a theory out there, and it's certainly not the easiest theory, but we'll try to pull it off here at Trippy Commentaries. Uh, thank you again to Music Vidiot. Guys, please subscribe to his channel as he has a lot of very special things planned over on his end as well. We'll be hooking up with him another time soon. Uh, thanks again, Danny. Any uh, other things you want to say before we sign out here in GTA 5? Oh, man, nothing much, man. We'll, we'll talk about the relevant stuff in a, in a future uh, discussion. I just wanted to tell you, man, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. You are one of my uh, favorite YouTubers, man. I check out your videos all the time, and it's been an honor, man. It's been a pleasure. Everybody out there, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, it's, it's really appreciated, and... Um, until next time, guys, peace. Stay trippy, my friends.